todo, todo jogador tem um sonho de vestir a camisa da seleção do seu país. Na primeira vez que eu fui para a seleção brasileira, que fui como titular da camisa 2, e que eu vesti a camisa pela primeira vez, foi uma sensação de felicidade completa. Eu acho que a camisa do Brasil é uma das camisas mais bonitas que tem de todas as seleções, assim, eu acho que é uma das mais bonitas. Então, é muito orgulho usar a camisa do nosso país. A emoção é forte, independente do valor ou não da camisa. E ainda, a curiosa coisa sobre o Brasileiro de futebol, é que ela era de branco. Having lost the 1950 World Cup final, the Brazilians decided to change their uniform. Officially, they wanted more identification of the national symbols, the national flag. And officially, they thought the white shirt was cursed. So a newspaper contest asked the public to design the new uniform using the national colors, green, yellow, blue, and white. The winner is Aldeix Lee, a 19-year-old Brazilian living very close to the Uruguayan border, a Uruguay supporter. That's how the famous yellow shirt was born. The kit has evolved slowly but steadily. The original creation, replete with oversized green collar and pale blue shorts, will be mirrored through the 60s. But then in 1970, they introduced the classic round neck. By 1978, the kit would be sponsored by Adidas and the company's stripes would adorn the sleeves. Four years later, Socrates and his teammates would be asked to don skin-tight shirts and stubby shorts. In 1994, the hallowed yellow jersey was so baggy, it looked more like a bedsheet when worn by Bebeto. It was even adorned with several large prints of the CBF emblem, thanks to Umbro's designers. In recent years, Nike have experimented with chevrons and hoopneck collars, before returning to the current, rather pared-down model, reflecting Schley's original drawings. To me, what makes the Brazil kit unique is that when you think of those colours on a football pitch, you remember all those glorious footballing moments. But it's also because something about the design itself, there's something intrinsic to that design, the very holistic, unbroken yellow. It's kind of almost like a child's drawing of the sun. It sort of just represents happiness. And so in a way, the kit sort of feels like it belongs to everyone who loves football. Personally, my all-time favourite Brazil kit is the 1982 one, which is just that pure, simple yellow t-shirt, green round neck. I love the simplicity of that design. It's just striking, you can't improve on it. Simplicity, eh? I wonder what Carlos Alberto thinks of that. Como a maioria dos brasileiros, eu penso que a seleção, qualquer camisa de, de clube ou de seleção, ela tem que ser o mais simples possível. O mais simples possível. As, a cor do, do, do país, as cores predominantes, né? E o escudo. Não mais do que isso. Finalmente se chegou a, uma, a um tipo de camisa hoje, que lembra inclusive muito a, o desenho com a camisa de 1970, né? Então eu preferia que essa fosse a grande mania, de copiarmos aquilo que foi, deu bom resultado em anos anteriores. O que eu gosto é, são das camisas retrô, né? As camisas antigas eu acho assim, bem especial e como aqui do meu clube eu sempre guardo algumas, a da seleção eu acho muito bonita, eu fico olhando, eu vejo a evolução né, de como mudaram o material, antes era um short bem curto, a camisa bem larga, agora a camisa já está mais grudada no corpo. Obviously, the Brazil kit is iconic. It's the symbol of national identity um, of a footballing nation throughout the world. Um, but there have been some shocking examples over the years. Um, I think the worst one has to be the 2002 um, World Cup kit. They might have won the tournament that year, but actually they, they, the style was at the, at the lowest ebb. It was a sort of baggy, shapeless garment that sort of did nothing for any of the players. Sort of let the Brazil kit down, I feel. So, a beautiful design, which, by the odd aberration, is considered among the best and certainly the most recognisable footballing kits in the world. Yellow top, blue shorts, white socks. Who could argue with it? Try the busybodies at FIFA. In this World Cup, FIFA have asked all the teams, they want them all to just play in one colour because it makes it a more striking visual image on TV, I guess. Um, but Brazil have quite rightly refused and they'll be keeping the blue shorts. Brasileiros são os reis das manias, das superstições, mas eu, eu não levaria em conta tanto o fator de, 
de, de, das cores da camisa, não. Porque senão o Brasil estaria jogando com as mesmas camisas que, que jogou quando ganhou os campeonatos mundiais anteriores.